So look, we're entering a new era. The way we work, the way we buy, and more importantly, the way we search. In the last couple of weeks, Google has released a major core algorithm update. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you've either been hit or you want to know about the precautions to not get penalized. More about this in just a minute. For me to paint a full picture, we need to go back a few years. We had just gone into lockdown and crypto was absolutely booming. There was a lot of crypto millionaires faking expertise and selling scam courses. This very quickly became a problem. Google quickly realized this and introduced YMYL. This is also known as Your Money, Your Life. It was to combat fake experts. They'd done this because they very quickly realized that it's super easy for someone to publish a load of articles, non-factual, and start selling and earning money from SEO. At that time, a lot of websites got hit. It even affected some of my gambling websites. I went from earning 25,000 down to three. I've been hit by algorithm updates before. It's not nice waking up one morning and 75% of your income is just gone overnight. But the biggest thing when it comes to recovering websites is the mindset. If you're a quitter, stop watching this video right now. Remember when you first registered your domain and how excited you were when you first clicked publish on that article and when you got your first 100 clicks in a month? That's the mindset and the fire you need when it comes to recovering a website. So what's actually happened in this recent algorithm update? Why has Google gone after niche sites? What they have done is they've put more emphasis on information gain. They want you to bring something new to the table and not just copy what's already there. This is super important to know, especially if you have an info site with display ads. Another thing that they've put an emphasis on is trust. How trustworthy is your website? Are your offers just a name on another website or are they genuine experts in the industry? Now, I don't want to sound too white hat, but if your website looks something like this, then you probably deserve to get hit. I don't trust websites that look like that and neither do the Google quality raters. After an insane amount of comments on Facebook and Twitter, I've decided to create a YouTube series where I will be breaking down step by step everything you need to know when it comes to recovering a website. In life, you get ahead by applying and not learning. Learn as much as you can, but it's far more important to actually apply the information. I don't want you to watch this video and feel like you've accomplished something. I want you to watch this video and think, right, I now have an action plan on this step-by-step -step process of what I need to do next for my website recovery. I want you to watch my videos as an interesting viewpoint from someone that has actually walked the path. I genuinely want you to take action on every single step. This is the ultimate path to recovering a website. As an SEO, you need to be a good project manager. There's a lot of SEOs that think that they're the best at every single thing that they do, and that's not necessarily always the case. During this YouTube series, I'm going to be speaking to as many SEOs that I possibly can that know how to recover websites, that have the skills and expertise, and I'm going to be soaking as much knowledge as I possibly can and showcasing it to you. This has been episode one. In the next follow-up videos, we will be going into on-page, EEAT, disavows, toxic links, and much, much more. If you've took anything from this video, I want you to at least take action.